Hello, my name is Ricardo. I'm the Operations Director of Access in Asia Pacific. This presentation, we're going to talk about uh, drops on land bricks. First of all, Access, we are our strategic partner, so we want to be recognized as a high competence company and uh, we want to assist our customers to achieve their business objectives. So for a drilling rig, uh, the goal is to make sure that the, the rig is always operating at the highest HSC levels. So Access, we are an international player. We are headquartered in Norway, so we are bringing uh, oil and gas experience from Norway and we have expanded uh, for all of the parts of the world. And uh, here I'm talking from Singapore, where we have our base as the headquarter for Asia Pacific. Access Group has four main departments. The first department is the Asset Integrity Management, where we have most of the work that we perform worldwide. Amongst these, we have our drops management services, where we have the several solutions inside it. The second group is the engineering solutions, where we provide lifting plans and material handling solutions for complex lifting. The third one is our X software solutions, where Access Digital performs a lot of digital solutions and elaborate and develop a lot of softwares. One of them is eDrops, that will be explained later in this presentation. The last one is Alpha. Alpha is our sister company providing material handling solutions. It's the only part that is manufacturing products. Here you can see a few of our drops products. So we have split them into several names depending on the phase of the project and depending on the, the characteristics of the asset. We have divided at least nine. Uh, on this presentation, I'm going to focus on these ones. So this will be the drops baseline survey, the, the first time that we do the drops inspections, the management system, so we can we've been delivering some manuals, the drop sweep, the closing of the findings from drops, and then drops training. So starting with the drops line baseline survey, so this is when we have our first survey. So this baseline inspection is aimed to understand and and categorize and then building the register of all items at height and how they should be secured. So with this, we can have a good understanding on how safe, uh, how the securing of each item should be, potentially suggesting some changes and some design improvement to the rig to avoid uh, any potential dropped object during operations. Access can also elaborate its own drops menu, which will be specific to the rig with the pictures of the actual items that are at height. In these pictures, we also add the items that needs to be performed, how to perform the inspections, and what needs to be checked. These blank checklists are also delivered in A6 pocket size and A4 sizes. They are made of materials that are waterproof and it's very hard to be destroy destroyed uh, over time. During the operations, the drops inspections can be performed in three parts or in three types of inspections. One is the rig crew themselves, so they can follow their own inspections. It could be weekly, monthly, this would depend on the procedures and we can recommend that as well. We have the third part inspections, usually annually, based on the drops program, where we go with rope access and, uh, and then we can assess all areas using uh, rope access techniques. And uh, we can also do an audit. So that is a sample check on the work that is being done by the crew. So that's used very often in the combination with the first option. So this, we access have quite a lot of experience providing all of these solutions. This is how we report any findings. So this reporting is quite uh, unique that developed by access to have a, a detailed uh, view on the on the issue with the description with the reference the locations in description but also on the top view and the side view so it's very easy to someone else to locate if you want to deliver this to another third party to to issue the to perform the closing and then we describe the required action what's the reference on the regulation and also if it requires rope access so this exploded view will have multiple pictures with good quality to allow all of the information to be there. The drop sweep is when it's, it means that when we are actually doing our inspections, we're going to remove all items at height. So the idea is to remove the, the risks of dropped objects, especially the ones that are hidden at height. 
and sometimes areas that been used as scaffolding for some reason some parts could be left there so we want to go and then remove all items so with this with the rope access we can access a lot of areas that wouldn't be seen uh, by distance and then we remove all debris we also have our option to close as many findings as possible as a standard we already bring our drops closing kit so we can have some nuts and bolts to actually remove a uh, close the findings immediately so that doesn't require a separate uh, mobilization for the easy to fix uh, findings and then if something is more required extra material or some findings that ref uh, that requires any significant repairs we can get an, a separate mobilization and but with that solution we can close most of the item that we still report and but then we'll report as, as closed the, ad, the last point that I want to mention is our drops training program. So we have been performing either classroom or virtual training. I think since the pandemic hit, we moved away a lot from, from physical training, which we can still do, and then been doing a lot of a virtual training to several of the drills around the world. So our experience from, from that becomes means that we already have the programs ready, the material ready. So it's just a plug and play solution that can be very cost effective for to train your crew, to train the HSE personnel, to train the management. We can custom uh, build a lot of uh, training for different uh, groups. The last point that I want to present is our software solution. So Access Bridge is our software solution where we have so far developed five modules. And one of the modules that I will discuss today is the eDrops, is how we present the drops uh, register and drops findings. So these are some key features of the software. The first point that I want to mention is that this software has been developed fully by Access Software Team, our Access Digital Company. So this means that we've completely um, developed according to our needs, to our real world from and the needs from oil and gas. The drilling has been uh, at the core of our drops inspection since day one. We already have uh, more than 100 clients around the world. Most of them are drillers. And uh, one of the main aspects is that it works online and offline on the tablet or in the phone or in the laptop. So even if you, the land rig is in a remote location, we can still uh, get all of the data beforehand and then do the inspections on the tablet. And then later on, when it's being brought to, to the Wi-Fi again, connectivity, then it automatically syncs, syncs to the cloud. So this works seamlessly. So here is how it looks, and then it can work in the laptop and then in the tablet view. You can just click a button, then you change from one view with side view to the to the to the portrait view that is better suited for tablets. And the, the first part is the dashboard. Here you can see what are the open findings, what are the criteria, what's open. You, you have the heat map with all of the findings open. They are clickable, so you can just click here and you have all of the details of each finding. The color is based on the criticality, so you have the red for the unacceptable, and then if it's a non-critical I fail, then it's a, a ember. And then here are the actual checklists for the item. So for example, if it's an AC unit tight, for example, the checklist will be pre-filled for that specific item. And that is the, the very important information for the inspector. So the inspector already has what needs to be checked for that particular item. So if it's a camera, it just needs to check a camera and then the, the camera specific checklist will, will pop up. And then once he puts no, this button will pop up as adding finding. So all of the finding information, including the category, the subcategory, which is a drop down menus will show up. And then also the top, the, the top view and then the side view, the side view and the top view of the of the, that particular area. So then the inspector reporting the finding can just tap exactly where the finding is. So that would be very uh, important and very useful to build the heat map automatically. Here it's how it's going to work on site. The the person usually have this selected which department it's on, and then our inspectors can come and do the the findings and taking the picture, all of the pictures that it can take, it will be with the device itself. So here is, a, is an example of a, the, the work process, for example, doing drops inspection on drilling mast. In a conventional way that you would do with the, without the e-drop, you would have to spend some time doing the preparation work and getting the previous reports, preparing the reporting template and getting the, 
the work order from some kind of CMMS system and then maybe spending four hours getting the camera and then getting the location and doing the inspection on paper or something similar and then you have to extract the pictures and then put in an Excel for example PowerPoint and then you close out the, the work order maintenance creating correct so it's very time consuming for preparation and reporting with our solution with D drops we can completely remove the need for preparation you basically just get a tablet that it's a uh, that it's already pre-registered you select the items that you want to inspect on the spot and then you start the inspection immediately and then when you are back to the the wi-fi later on then the reporting is automatically you have zero work for reporting everything can be generated directly from the software so comparing here the conventional way of doing drops inspections and then doing e-drops you can see the main benefits so the historic data you don't have anything with the convention it's very hard to get out the knowledge you don't have the consistent reporting that it drops allows the human error so a lot of the items are actually a drop down menu so you already know when we do the analysis of what are the common reasons and the causes for that finding so then the inspector only needs to select one of the pre-filled items and that will allow the data analysis later on and it's very quite easy to use it's very user friendly the requirement for user training is minimum it's literally just one hour it's a, the person can be completely uh, explain how to do the inspections maybe less than that and one question that we often ask if this can be integrated with any system in cmms system erp system something like that it's all possible we can we have we are currently working on the on these solutions and it's a uh, we have our own software team as i said so with the integration it should be possible for for any kind of system so here is just a value proposition for drops on land rigs which is the scope for this presentation so our team is, has hands-on experience we've done some work already particularly in asia pacific we've done work in malaysia in papua new guinea india so we have the local personnel most of the time we have local resources as well so we can basically gather our global experience headed by nori which has a very strong uh, uh, drops experience sharing as well from uk and then we can apply using local manpower competitive rates and drill as i said has always been in our dna and drops and drilling rigs and our hsc focus so is like quite high to, there, to focus you know. on so I'd like to thank you for the presentation. If you have any more questions, you can feel free to contact me. Uh, here are my details and thank you for the time.